Amargasaurus. Amargasaurus. A sauropod from the early Cretaceous time period in what is now Argentina, a country in South America. Named after the La Amarga rock formation where it was discovered, dating back about 120 million years ago. Amargosaurus had two rows of spines down its neck, with the largest in the middle reaching two feet high. Elongated paddle-shaped spines continued down the length of its back from its neck to the top of its tail. It walked on four legs, meaning it was quadrupedal, and was probably unlikely to be able to rear up on its hind legs. Amargosaurus Amargosaurus Brachiosaurus Brachiosaurus A sauropod from the late Jurassic time period found in what is now the continent of North America. Brachiosaurus means arm lizard in reference to the length of its humerus bone, upper arm. The front legs were significantly longer than the rear legs preventing it from being able to stand in a bipedal position. Brachiosaurus had a proportionally short tail in comparison to other large sauropods. When discovered in 1903, Brachiosaurus was the largest dinosaur ever discovered. Brachiosaurus Brachiosaurus Therizinosaurus 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 was a theropod from the late Cretaceous time period, about 70 million years ago. The Greek word therizo means to reap or cut off. The tool used for reaping was a scythe. The name means scythe lizard. The claws on Therizinosaurus are approximately 3 feet long or just over a meter, the longest of any animal. While most theropods stood and walked on three toes and had a dew claw like a dog, it had four weight-bearing toes. Therizinosaurus Therizinosaurus Augustinia Augustinia A sauropod from the early Cretaceous time period. Augustinia was on Earth from 117 to 110 million years ago. Discovered by Augustin Martinelli in Argentina. Spikes and plates were once thought to be for protection, but are now thought to be rib and hip bone fragments. It is thought that Augustinia weighed about the same as an elephant and was about as long as a bowling alley. Very little fossil evidence has been discovered so far making Augustinia very difficult to classify. Augustinia, Augustinia, Ankylosaurus, Ankylo Saurus, an ankylosaur from the end of the Cretaceous time period, 68 to 66 million years ago in what is now North America. The name ankylosaurus means fused lizard. Bones in the skull and other body parts were fused together, increasing strength. Among the last non-avian dinosaurs at the time of the mass extinction event at the end of the Cretaceous time period. Ankylosaurus Ankylosaurus Stegosaurus Stegosaurus From the late Jurassic time period about 155 to 150 million years ago found in the United States and Portugal. Stegosaurus means roof lizard or covered lizard referring to the protective plates along its back. The spikes on its tail were probably used for protection. The plates on its back were probably used for display purposes. Stegosaurus was quadrupedal with longer rear legs. This kept the tail elevated and ready for defense. The group of spikes on the tail is called a thagomizer. Thagomizer damage has been found on Allosaurus fossils. Stegosaurus Stegosaurus Miragaya Miragaya A stegosaur from the late Jurassic time period 150 million years ago in what is now Portugal. The name comes from Miragaya 
the parish in Portugal where this herbivore was discovered. Miragaya has the longest neck of any stegosaur. It has 17 vertebrae, while Stegosaurus has 12 or 13. During evolution, vertebrae from the backbone migrated or shifted to the neck, elongating it over time. Miragaya had more vertebrae in its neck than most sauropods. Miragaya. Miragaya. Niger saurus. Niger saurus. A Rabacosaurid sauropod from the Middle Cretaceous time period, 115 to 105 million years ago. Discovered in 1976 in the Republic of Niger, a country in Western Africa. Its name means Niger lizard. Niger saurus is a small, short necked sauropod with air holes and air sacs in its bones to help keep them light. It has a wide muzzle with 500 teeth that were replaced on a constant basis every 14 days. The only known tetrapod, four-legged vertebrate with a jaw wider than its skull. Its teeth were located at the very front. Niger saurus. Niger saurus. Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. A hadrosaur from the late Cretaceous time period, 76 to 74 million years ago in what is now North America. Parasaurolophus means near crested lizard, as it was quite similar to the crested lizard, Saurolophus. It was a herbivore with teeth packed in groups that were replaced on a continual basis. The crest may have been used for producing sound for communication or used for thermoregulation. Parasaurolophus was both bipedal and quadrupedal. It probably ran on two legs and looked for food on all four. Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. Cyconia. Cyconia. An ankylosaur from the late Cretaceous time period found in what is now the Asian countries of Mongolia and China. Cyconia is Mongolian for the beautiful one due to the pristine condition of the fossils when they were discovered. Cyconia was more robust making it stronger and more effective in more situations than other ankylosaurs. Cyconia could fend off predators like Tarbosaurus with the strong solid club at the end of its tail. It weighed 2,500 kilograms, which is about the weight of a giraffe. It was 21 feet long, about three quarters of the length of a bus. Cyconia. Cyconia. Styrocosaurus. Styrocosaurus. A ceratopsian from the Cretaceous time period, about 75 million years ago in what is now North America. Styrocosaurus means spiked lizard, referring to the horns protruding from its frill, cheeks, and nose. The nasal horn was two feet long or just over half a meter. There were no standard pattern or amount of spikes on the frill. The amount of frill horns ranged from four to six. Styrocosaurus was a herbivore, and was about the length of a rhinoceros or a blue whale tongue. Styrocosaurus. Styrocosaurus. Diplodocus. Diplodocus. A sauropod from the late Jurassic time period, 152 to 154 million years ago in what is now North America. Diplodocus means double beam describing the double chevron bones under the tail designed for strength. These bones are no longer unique to Diplodocus as they have since been found in many other species of dinosaur. Diplodocus had a very long tail consisting of 80 vertebrae. A Shunosaurus tail only had 43 vertebrae so was much shorter. Only one digit on the front feet, Manus, had a claw. It was unusually large compared to claws of other sauropods. Diplodocus. Diplodocus.